welcome to this YouTube channel and hope your subscription. In this series we will discuss about the parts of the second unit called, Chemical and Cellular Basis of Life. I have added the channel link in the description below. Unit 2. Chemical and Cellular Basis of Life. Part 1. Topic 1. Elemental Composition of Living Matter. There are about 92 elements naturally occur in Earth's crust. Of which, about 20 to 25 percent elements are essential to continue healthy life and reproduction. About 25 elements are essential for humans and about 17 for plants. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen make up 96 percent of living matter. Calcium, phosphorus, potassium and sulfur, make up most of the remaining 4% of the mass of the organism. In humans, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, accounts for 96.3% of the body mass in calcium, phosphorus, potassium and sulfur, sodium, chlorine. Magnesium and trace elements accounts for the remaining 3.7%. Examples. Boron, cobalt, copper, chromium, fluorine, iodine, iron, molybdenum, manganese, selenium, silicon, tin, vanadium, zinc. Topic 2. Physical and chemical properties of water important for life. Water is a vital inorganic molecule. Life could not exist on this planet without water. It is important due to the following reasons. 1. Vital chemical constituent of living cell. 2. Provides a biological medium for all organisms. Most of above properties are based in the chemical structure of water molecule. Physical and chemical properties of water molecule provide the ability to render the vitality. Water molecule is a small, polar and angular molecule. Polarity is an uneven charge distribution within a molecule. In water molecule, oxygen atom is slightly negative and hydrogen atom is slightly positive. Weak attractions between the slightly polar hydrogen atom of one water molecule and the slightly polar oxygen atom of adjacent water molecule are known as hydrogen bonds these hydrogen bonds play a major role in maintaining all the properties of water. The properties of water arise due to attractions of different water molecules. When the water is in liquid form its H bonds are very fragile. H bonds form, break and reform with great frequency. Four major properties of water to maintain life on Earth. Cohesive behavior. Ability to moderate temperature. Expansion upon freezing. Versatility as a solvent. Topic 3. Properties of water related to functions. 1. Cohesive behavior. Attraction between water molecules due to hydrogen bonding is known as cohesion. Attraction between water molecules and other substances are known as adhesion. Both of the above properties of water allow it to act as a transport medium. Due to cohesion between water molecules, water and dissolved substances such as minerals and nutrients transport through vascular tissues, xylem and phloem against gravity. Adhesion between water molecules and cell walls also helps in conduction of water and dissolved substances. Water has a high surface tension. This ability is given to water molecules, due to cohesion between the water molecules. Therefore, in an aquatic system, upper surface water molecules are attracted by lower surface molecules and it forms a water film. Small insects example. Water skaters can walk on the surface of a pond. Two. Ability to moderate temperature. 
water can absorb or release a relatively high amount of heat energy by a slight change in its own temperature. Due to the high specific heat, water will function as thermal buffer in living system and aquatic bodies during the temperature fluctuations on Earth. Due to the high heat of vaporization, with the minimum loss of water an organism can release much heat energy. Therefore, the body surface of an organism maintained is cool surface. Example, prevent from overheating. Evaporation of sweat from human skin helps to maintain the body temperature at constant level. Transpiration in plants keeps the plant body surface as a cool surface and prevent from becoming too warm in the sunlight. 3. Expansion upon freezing. Generally, in an increase in temperature of any substances, reduces their density and on the other hand, in a decrease in temperature increases their density. When the temperature of water falls below 4C, it begins to freeze and forms a crystalline lattice called ice cubes. Therefore water has the maximum density at 4C. Hence, ice floats on the surface of water bodies. It is an important property of water in polar regions, where, organisms in aquatic bodies can survive during the winter. 4. Versatility is a solvent. This ability is given to water due to their polarity. Polar molecules, nonpolar ionic, both polar and ionic can dissolve in water. Because water molecules surround each of the solute molecules and form hydrogen bonds with them. Solubility depends on polarity and not in their ionic nature. Now we have completed the topics of this video. We will start other parts of the second unit called, Chemical and Cellular Basis of Life, in the next videos. Hope your subscription. Thank you.